This will be my last video of the day. My name is Felicia Fallon. I'm an artist, traveler, a lot of what I do is social change through cultural art, um, sharing Jesus with women through my art. Um, and my background is African American studies, religious studies, and philosophy for my second degree. My first degree was art with a graphic design minor. And I guess that's all you need to know for this. But um, <laughs> so I, I love you. I mean this totally sincerely. Um, it's gonna be a blanket video for a variety of questions that I get asked and I'm gonna encourage you to, there's so many resources out there right now, especially after 2020 and all the chaos of the last few years in the racial conversations and all of that that's been happening. Um, there's so many good dialogues out there from people that know more than me. Um, I will, I guess I'm gonna say um, John Perkins is a great uh, resource you can read. John Piper has a book on race. Um, Vadi Bakum has a book on race. Um, I don't agree with every single one of these to the same amount. I would say um, John Perkins is the closest to where I am, where he's working through reconciliation within the church body. I think that's the most important topic and you can understand if you don't already. Um, Mike, oh, Mike Winger, but also he um, he doesn't talk about race as much. Um, the the beat, the man, Alan Parr. Alan Parr is, another, is a great resource on YouTube. Um, I think those are some of the best resources that I can send you to for your answers on all things race and Christianity and um, where those two things overlap. Um, this question, may, or, and maybe, I don't know, this, I'm gonna use this a blanket statement, so, um, but this question that you're asking, like it's not really my, um, there are so many different black people, so many different cultures, so many different um, ways that people explore their blackness, that it matters, doesn't matter, based on their family, based on their life growing up, based on all the different things. Um, I can't speak for everyone. Um, I can speak for very few people, to be totally honest. Um, I'm kind of an outlier in how much I do with white culture and white churches and white Christianity and like, um, I, uh, and I didn't grow up with much black culture either. I grew up around much more Native American culture. So anyways, um, whatever this specific question is, I'm going to just default you to those other names that I listed. Um, there's tons of other reading, secular reading as well. Um, there, uh, Hate in the Homeland is a great book as Hate in the Homeland. Um, is more international racism and like what's going on in the larger scale of things. Uh, Mac, Mac Brislan, that's not the right name. Oh my goodness. Um, 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 um. The author of Woke Church, he wrote that before woke became a conservative hot button word to use. Um, the word woke has been used in the black community for years, ages, way before what most white people know it as now. Um, it goes back to like t just tons of race issues. Um, and black English and all sorts of things. So Woke Church, that author has a couple other books specific to race and Christianity. Um, don't let the term woke throw you off. Um, yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not answer this question right now. I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, um, but I'm gonna send you to these other resources. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, and hopefully this is applicable to whatever your specific question was. Um, but like I said, this is gonna be a blanket video that I'm gonna share when people ask questions that um, I really don't have the time or energy or nor really the um, appropriate experiences or background or education or whatever to speak on. So there you go. There's my uh, blanket check out other resources video.